You want to see something amazing? A voice controlled Power BI report. Show me the average age by department. This is so good. So this is the Power BI mobile app. Here's my report already all done and I didn't have to type a single thing. I can see the average ages by all the individual departments. I can now comment on this. I can maybe circle something. Um, if I really want to, I could add a smiley face or a grumpy face. And then I can send this as an email or a link to somebody. Um, I can th The link will automatically have a link to the report. So if somebody clicks on that, they'll jump there, but also it gives them a screenshot of what I've circled. So here's how I actually built this. It all starts in Excel. I'm going to get some data from another Excel file that has all the employee data in it. So here's my file and now Power Query is going to open up. I'm going to go to the source data sheet of that file and I'm going to edit it. So I'm going to do some data cleanup first. So we're now in the Power Query window and if you haven't used Power Query before you're really missing out. It can do some amazing stuff. Uh, I'm going to filter out the empty employee numbers. Everybody should have an employee number. And now I'm going to merge together first name, surname, and employee number. And the order you click is the order they merge. So that's pretty cool. So here we go. We're going to go for a space between each word. And then we'll call the new column employee. And there's my new column, all joined together. Now what I need to do is take a look at this date of birth column. I need to change it to a date type. And from there, I can do all sorts of transformations. But I'm actually going to create an age column. So that's the age. But that's not in the right units. I want to show it in years. So I'm going to transform it to years. And look at that. We've done it. And now we can just actually round that figure down. I'm going to round it down to zero decimal places. And I've got my column for age automatically calculated. The next one I'm going to do is I need to extract a department from this organizational hierarchy column. So I'm going to use column from examples. So I'm going to add a column from selection. And the amazing thing about column from examples is that all you need to do is type what you want. So I want to extract northern shelf. And I type it exactly as it appears. Press enter. And then it works out that I want to extract central accounting, human resources, etc. That's just amazing. So it actually writes a formula for you. And it's always important to check this formula, text dot between delimiters from the organizational hierarchy column. That's brilliant. But if that doesn't amaze you, try this out. Type capital letters for Northern Shelf. And then it adds a text dot upper into the formula. So you may have used flash fill in Excel, but at least with Power Query, you can actually see the formula that's being written. So I click OK. And then the department column just gets added in. So I no longer need my organizational hierarchy column. So I can remove that and we're done. Annual leave hours, I don't need all those decimal places. So I'm just going to round it up to a whole number. And we are pretty much done. So now I can go to the Home tab, click on Close and Load 2. And now I can actually choose whether I load that data into an Excel table or a pivot table. Or I can load it into the data model, which is Power Pivot. So that data is loading. Once it's loaded, I can save my file. So I'm just going to save it. So I've saved my file. I'm now going to publish it to Power BI. So we're now into the Publish to Power BI screen. I want to export the workbook contents. That's the Power Query the power pivot model, any formulas and measures you've written. So those things will get exported to a particular workspace. Um, and you need a Power BI account to do that. Now I can just go go to Power BI after it's been loaded. And it's now opening up in powerbi.com. So here's my report and all my data is down the side as you can see. So now I can just build a quick report, um, something simple like employees and their annual leave hours available. So it just comes in as a little table visual, but I'll change that to a 
bar chart. Um, this is showing all employees. Maybe I only want to show the top 10. So I'm going to apply a filter. Um, one of the filter options is top N and I'm going to choose the top 10. And I want to do the top 10 by the most annual leave hours. So I need to drag annual leave hours into that by value field. So I'm just going to drag it down. Let me just grab it, pull it down into that by value field and you must click apply filter. And now my chart changes just to show the 10 people with the most annual leave hours accrued. I'm then going to pin this. Ah, first of all, I have to save my report. So I'm just saving my report as my demo dashboard or my demo report, whatever it might be. Now I'm going to pin it to a dashboard and let me call my dashboard something like my demo dashboard. And I'm going to pin that visual. This visual is what I, and this dashboard is what helps me with that voice activated Q&A question and answer functionality. So now I'm going to bring up the phone, uh, bring up my Power BI app on my phone. And I'm just going to go to my demo dashboard, click on that with my finger. Here comes my report that I've just built with the top 10 or top five, whoever it is. And what I can do from this point is simply ask a question. Amazing. Show me the average age by department. This is so good. So from an Excel file all the way through to an interactive mobile report in just under seven minutes. And that's pretty good going. So Excel and Power BI work brilliantly together. Hope you found that useful. If you want to find out more about this type of thing, then check out our blog at accessanalytic.com.au and we have a newsletter. Uh, follow me on Twitter and LinkedIn and I'd love to connect up with you guys and see what you think. Please leave us some feedback. Thanks a lot.